Hello Classic BW lovers, this is Junior with uh, Junior Classic BW Bucks here in Black Lake, Ohio. This is video number three on uh, Sunny the Super Buck, a full restoration. This is my 1971 Super Buck. So today I am going to share with you a mistake that I made while attempting to install a aftermarket radio. Okay, so this is what I did. I went online and I purchased this uh, aftermarket radio. It's got some kind of a vintage look to it, which I like. And it's very inexpensive. I think I only pay like $26 for it. And you have the option to connect to the radio via Bluetooth or you can use an iPod. And it also has a USB uh, port connection right there that you can actually use to charge your phone if you had, if you had a need to uh, for it. So what was my mistake? The radio, th the radio thickness is the issue. So when I bought the radio, I did not account for the radio thickness. So what happens is that these aftermarket radios, they do not all fit into the uh, factory holes. Well, for my surprise, the factory OEM hole on my dash was smaller than that radio. So what was my mistake? Out of desperation, I went and got my angle grinder and I put a slight cut, a very slight cut right there. I would say about a maybe quarter of an inch to maybe, I don't know, quarter to three eighths of an inch uh, long. And the same thing over here. So my mistake was that after I made that cut with the angle grinder, I did not have the proper tool to bend this material. And what I did was that I used a crescent wrench. So as you can see here, what happened was that my paint job on my dash cracked. This is actually driving me crazy because uh, at some point I had the idea to let the dash be the way it is because it gives it a more vintage look to the car. Well, I guess that that's not going to happen because I either have to take this insert back out and fix that if I want to leave it like that. Or my second uh, choice would be to let it be and forget about it. Maybe repaint that and leave it as is. And then forget about leaving it without the dash, uh, the little black dash that they come with. And then take my dash, install it as such, and let it be. Oh, there we go. So that's kind of like where I'm standing right now. Um, I will have to remove this plastic to put it back from the outside so that it will push the dash. But so far, I think that might be my plan. If I want to make it to the Volkswagen Fest in August, which I'm not sure if I will be able to because I'm still overhauling the engine on this car. There's so much for it that needs to be done. As you can see, like I said in previous videos, uh, the interior headliner needs to be redone uh, as well as the uh, side panels. I think I'm going to put some kind of like a, a, a brown color inside the car and carpets and the upholstery needs to be changed. But that was my mistake and I wanted to share it with you so that you don't do um, the same mistakes I did. And um, if you have any comments, just subscribe. Any experience you have had in the past as well, you can share them with me. I will reply back to your comments. Uh, like I said, I'm going to continue to upload videos and share the progression on Sonny's full restoration. Well, until then, this is Junior from Black Lake, Ohio. See you. Bye.